Taco Bell! Obviously, I would get myself a Baja Blast. So normally, I don't really eat fast food. Sometimes you just got to say. F Plus, I had the gift card. I don't know why they needed such a big bag. Uh, this is mostly just air. And this is already in a box. The last time I was at the Taco Bell was quite a while ago, so I don't really know uh, how the menu has changed. I saw a big deluxe box. I got about uh, two words into the name of it, and the guy said, Okay! And he put it up on the screen. I was like, how did he know? But here it is. I also got a quesadilla, because why not? The overly nice man at the window did not skimp on the power sauce. I was driving home and this Baja Blast was just staring at me. I didn't want to uh, drink it until now, but I had to wait for a train, and then there's a school bus. Not as sweet as I remember. It tastes like they watered it down. It's still a Baja Blast though. Okay, let's start with the quesadilla. Last time I was at the Taco Bell, this has a window on them. And I start to pull tab. And then they just put it in a sack. Does that work? You know, the great thing about Taco Bell is it is Taco Bell and I am lactose intolerant. It really clears out the system. Pretty good, like I remember it being. The tortilla is uh, nice and brown, but uh, it is still. Nice and soft, which I prefer. And they didn't skimp too much on the filling. You know, we're going to get chicken and cheese in every bite. So, in the seasoning, uh, you know, it is not spicy. And this is one of the things you can get from Taco Bell that uh, does not taste like every other thing from Taco Bell. What's in the box? I started the nacho fries. And not a difference, I think I'm remembering. This used to be more orange. And I think it is less spicy. It fries. Soft on the outside, uh, but kind of a little bit of a crispy chew to get to the inside. Nicely seasoned. It is kind of like a Dorito powder. Probably is, knowing them. With the cheese. Great Tex-Mex mix. Uh, let's go for this one. We've got the burrito. What kind? I don't know. Bean and cheese. But there might be some meat in there, but you know, Taco Bell, it's kind of hard to tell. Here's something I always like to do. Extra cheesy. When I was waiting at the window to get the food, I got a nice little story of a husband cheating on his wife with another married woman. She didn't very much like that. The person telling the story, I don't think his wife knows. Mm. My favorite, the chalupa. I always like the chalupas because uh, it's like a taco, but big. This one looks like a chicken chalupa. I love everything about it other than the tomato. And I used to get them my uh, beef. I think I prefer the beef. Okay, last mystery item. Whoa! It is the famous Doritos Locos Tacos. Not the old school uh, paint splatter logo. I've never uh, eaten these before. I know they've been uh, around for a bit, but they came pre-broken, which is something. Uh, Oh, there's a little slider in the back. I guess so you can eat while you're driving, which I would not recommend. Uh, the shell of this tastes exactly like the fries. Kind of a normal, cheap, crispy taco shell, but uh, just with the seasoning. I was expecting it to be more like a Dorito, just no big and folded up, but I guess not. And you know the problem with crispy tacos is they break apart and then they get everywhere and uh, what they're going to do with all of it, but at least they put the beef in that one to uh, offset the chicken from the chalupa. Okay, let's do a fire sauce lucky dip. Oh, marry me. I think I will. Oh, it is uh, never uh, all that fire or spicy, but I really like the flavor of these. <laughs> And you know, as a whole, Taco Bell is not super spicy because, you know, white people from Nebraska eat it. So the fire sauce is a nice addition. Okay, rating time. Nacho cheese any day of the week is going to get a 10. 
and the Baja Blast I kinda wish it was a little more sweeter which is yes, lots of sugar but no I'd give the old one a 9 or a 10 and this one maybe just a 7 uh, the fire sauce maybe an 8 you can technically get it for free too a uh, taco maybe a 5 you might think it is special but I don't really Chicken quesadillas have really grown on me. No, there's nothing crazy about them. You got a little bit of a Taco Bell seasoning hint to them, but pretty basic. Yeah, I'll give these an eight. Yeah, the nacho fries. I'm really a big fan of seasoned fries, so I'm going to give these a nine. Hey, yeah, burrito. It's a burrito. Well, better other ones I'd rather have. I'll give it a seven. The right the taco? I think I did. And the chalupa! Like the burrito, uh, I'd rather have uh, a beef one and uh, with her paja sauce. You know, it is a spicy jalapeno mayo. It just has sour cream, which I don't like. And also tomato. I'll give this a 6. Also, can you believe all of this under $20? It is like $1 for 100 calories. I think this is a pretty decent value. You know, if you're a hungry man like me, uh, $15 gets you like one salad in uh, Delhi. That is going to be nowhere near the 2,000, 2,500 calories this is. But I go back to Taco Bell? Yeah, well, I still have some money on the gift card, so probably will. So, $1 burritos. 